Okay, now we look at friction. Friction is a force that exists between two solid surfaces due to microscopic irregularities of surfaces. Uh, friction tends to oppose relative motion between two surfaces that are in contact. Let's look at some examples. Example 3.1.2 a. The block is being pulled to the left, so the block will be moving to the left relative to the ground. To oppose this relative motion, the friction force will act to the right at the point of contact or the surface of contact between the block and the ground like this. B. A block is being pulled up a ramp, so the block is moving upwards relative to the ramp, and the frictional force will act to oppose this upward movement. This frictional force will be acting downwards at a surface between the block and the ramp. Uh, this frictional force, if it's equal to the pull, this block would move at a constant speed. If the block is already moving, if the friction is less than the pull, there will be a net force upwards and the block will accelerate up the slope. C. The block is at rest on a ramp. If there was no friction, the block will slide downwards relative to the ramp. Okay, so to prevent that, the frictional force will prevent the block from sliding down and the frictional force has to act upwards on the block. This actually opposes the component of the weight acting down the block uh, down the slope. D. The block is being uh, sorry the ball is sliding to the right at a constant speed. So to oppose the motion of the ball, the frictional force will be opposite to it. This frictional force will be equal in magnitude to the push, so that the net force is zero. Hence, the speed will be constant, no acceleration. Next, E. A girl is walking to the left. For her foot that's touching the ground, if there was no friction, her foot will slide to the right. So the friction will have to prevent the foot, which is the body, the foot that's sliding to the right by acting to the left. So friction will act to the left in this case. F. A block is accelerating to the right on a conveyor belt. The conveyor belt is moving towards the right. If there was no friction, the block will stay at rest. That means it's actually moving to the left relative to the belt. To, to prevent the, the block from sliding and not moving at all, the friction will have to be towards the right. So this friction will prevent the block from sliding to the left. And in fact, this friction is the force responsible for accelerating the block towards the right.